My name is Stacy Saida Chepkimoy. I'm of age 28 and I come from Bomet County, Soti constituency, Chemagel Ward, Kiptapsir Village. I am an aspirant for woman representative in Bomet County under the party of United Democratic Alliance. And I have, uh, my background is in diplomacy and communication. I have a degree in international relations and diplomacy, a master's in diplomacy and security studies, and I'm currently pursuing my PhD in communications. In 2017, I had run for senator, Bomet County, where I came third with 29,000 votes. And uh, I never made it to Senate at that time, but I was likely a nominee for the East African Legislative Assembly, which I also didn't make because the 11th Parliament never voted. And when the 12th Parliament came in, a new list was created. And uh, luckily or unluckily, other people were put into the list and I was left out because my region had already been given the position of a nominated senator, so other regions had to be considered for these four other positions. And uh, I have a background of uh, leadership where I've been the youth president for one year in 2015. And uh, I also was a leader in my university. I was representing uh, the Department of International Relations at the country. In in 2022, and like 2017, I'll be running for the position of woman representative. Why not senator is because I want to go to the house where legislations are made and are quickly implemented. And like in Senate, where legislations have to be given back to the National Assembly for implementation, this is going to make easier my vision to transform and change the Bomet County residents and the electorates. Is, uh, would want and would love to have this position well represented and I would love men to be brought on board and like before the other women representatives have made this office to look like it is only for women this time around Stacy would love to work with everyone and we'd love to encourage men God willing if I'm elected as woman representative I would love to have men also register circles and groups so that they can at least benefit from something small from the office of the woman representative. We'd also want to have committees that are selected or nominated from the locations level by the people for the people so that they can manage this money and we also encourage the issue of public participation. We do not want this time round to have the only person running this office as a woman rep. We want the people to run this office so that people can have their problems looked into and solved by themselves. But I will only be ensuring that resources are given in time so that this can be activated and this can be done on time. The third agenda that I have is for women. I would love, if God possibly am elected, I would love to look into the issues of water among women. I would love to do borehole drilling in every village so that women can be able to access water and like what is going on at the moment. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to partner with national government, different agencies that deal into uh, provision of clean water and any other water services. The fourth agenda I have for women the, I'm going to look into groups of women that are in the agricultural sector and women that are in different markets. In the groups of women that are in agricultural um, businesses, I would give them money directly to their groups so that they can be able to venture into different agricultural activities and make money for themselves so that they can take their children to school and to also so that they can be able to expand their businesses, have their markets improved by constructing better environment for them to do their businesses and sell their produce and also provide clean water in different markets so that these women can have a clean environment and have water so that they can be able to have a clean environment to sell their produce and also not to get into conflict with public health and like what is happening at the moment where women do not access water in their markets. The fourth agenda is on issues of bursaries, that is the presidential bursary that is in this office. We would want to have the committees that are selected or nominated from the location level to run these bursaries themselves because they are the ones who understand in their location who actually is a widow, who is a widower, who is a single mother, and these are the people that are going to manage and give out these bursaries so that it is equally and fairly distributed. On the agenda of uh, border border riders, 
we realize that previously Boda Boda riders have gone through hell because they do not have uh, licenses, they are not well trained, and they also do not have resources. Most of them have uh, gotten into loans and others are employed. So we want to create a sub-county driven uh, circles whereby we will be able to help these young people and give them money in their circles so that those that do not have their own border borders can be able to at least buy from the office of the woman rep in case they make a say 300 shillings in a day we also want to have the circles partnering with NHIF so that they can have a card because the environment they are in the roads are not very good the environment that they are working at is not good so we want to protect them and give them a cover where we'll partner with NHIF and also give them resources so that they can be able to run their businesses effectively. We'll give uh, money to groups of young people that have just graduated or that are not having anything to do at their places or where they come from and uh, help them to access the money from the office of the woman rep and then the group of young people that are from 30 to 35 will help them to register companies so that they can effectively get and participate on the AGPO, the 30% government procurement opportunity in the county, at the sub-county level, and even in the office of the woman representative and any other activities that will be done at the national uh, government level. On the agenda of people with disabilities, I would want to activate a circle and have these people registered in an umbrella circle so that they can be able to access money from the office of the woman representative and do businesses at the level of their comfort. Actually see that there is a lot of change in our county and to bring change in this office by fully and actively participating in the National Assembly. If God willing I'm elected as the woman representative of Bonnet County.